Good day, and thanks for tuning in for another episode of Shift Into Safety, where safety is serious, but it doesn't have to be boring. Today, we're gonna to discuss how to identify some common breeds of North American road hazards and how do we interact with them safely in the wild. So put on your defensive driving hat, buckle in and follow me out into the wild. Welcome to the wild. The first breed of road hazard we're gonna talk about today is gators. No, not that kind of gator, tailgaters. Now you might think it's fairly easy to identify a tailgater in the wild. You just look behind you, right? But one of their most common hiding spots in the wild is actually also right in front of you. While you're maintaining a safe following distance from the car in front of you, that car in front of you may not be maintaining a safe following distance from the car in front of them. And that can be just as much of a potential risk as a tailgater following too closely behind you. Now that you've identified that potential road hazard, either behind you or in front of you, the good news is that you can safely interact with this particular breed in the wild. You just have to keep your distance. Whether the tailgater is directly behind you or a vehicle or two vehicles in front of you, as a defensive driver, your response should be the same in both situations. Create more space between you and the car in front of you. In this case, you'll want enough space not only for you to brake safely, but you'll also want to include enough space for the vehicles around you to brake safely. If the tailgater is in front of you, you should create more space as a buffer to account for the space that they haven't left for themselves. If the tailgater is behind you, creating more space in front of you will give you more time to react and you'll also give that person behind you the gift of time. Remember, don't be a tailgater yourself, but we'll have to find a space for you in the road hazard zoo. Maintaining an appropriate following distance is a key characteristic of a defensive driver. Now this particular breed is far from being an endangered species and they can hide in plain sight, so keep an eye out for them in the wild. Now let's move on to the next breed of road hazard. Now in most of the country you'll experience the change of all four seasons, winter, spring, summer and fall, and each of these seasons comes with its own unique challenges. However, in the Midwest they typically only recognise two seasons, winter and construction. The Latin name for our next breed of road hazard is Conus constructionus. You'll witness this breed spending most of the year traveling in its migratory path across the roadways. In the Midwest, they tend to hibernate in the deep winter months, but in other areas of the country, you can see packs of them pop up anywhere. In and of themselves, they're docile creatures, but they can create bottlenecks, traffic backups, and affect the patience and decision-making skills of the drivers around you. If you identify early that you're heading into the migration path of Conus constructionus, that will allow you to prepare yourself to travel in a way that respects the natural order of their habitat. Be courteous of people trying to merge in front of you, even if they're doing it very late. Use your signals, make sure others see you, and decrease your speed in case one of these animals decides to take a step out into your lane right in front of you. Next. Let's talk about another breed of road hazard that unfortunately can possibly be found on any roadway across this nation and at any different time or season of the year. The Latin name for our next breed of road hazard is Rhodus ragicus. Now this breed is naturally aggressive and its actions can be completely and totally unpredictable. If you encounter this breed in the wild, it's very important that you do not approach and do not engage. Now, if you encounter a bear or a lion, say, in the wild, some folks might tell you to make yourself big and loud to protect yourself. But when you're up against Rhodus ragicus, you want to make yourself small and quiet. Don't make evasive maneuvers. The best way to safely interact with this road hazard is to not engage at all. Remain calm, keep your composure, increase your following distance from that hazard, and create as much space between yourself and them as you possibly can. And remember, your horn, beep beep, should never be used to express anger. It should only be used to alert others of danger. Today, we've discussed how to identify and safely interact with three common breeds of North American road hazards. But there are plenty of other breeds out there that you could encounter on your day-to-day -day journey. Remember that your best defense against all of them is defensive driving. Maintain a safe following distance, travel a safe speed for the conditions around you, don't drive distracted, don't drive fatigued, and just be courteous to others out on the roadway. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Shift Into Safety. And remember, it can be a zoo out there, so keep an eye out for some of these common breeds of North American road hazards.